I ended up losing the man that I was supposed to marry because I was too hot in the ass. I was thinking I was the shit and had options. And I did. But they wasn't good fucking options. I ended up losing a man that I would call 3 o'clock in the morning because I wanted to cuddle. And this man was coming town to see me. You know what I mean? 3 o'clock in the morning. What man you know doing that? I had a man that knew me and my son was in the house hot as fuck. He went out of his way and spent $300 on getting me and my baby an air conditioner to put in our house. And me and that man ended up hitting a rough patch in our relationship. And I decided to go seek, you know, other options because I thought they was better. And, you know, at the time dealing with it and being in the midst of it, it might have seemed like it was better. You know, it might have seemed like I ended up losing. Like, yeah, this is a lot better. But, you know, after it's all said and done, that shit wasn't better. You know why? Because that man that I was supposed to marry wouldn't have had me dealing with my pregnancy alone he wouldn't have left me out to go to every single appointment by myself he wouldn't have had me in a delivery room by myself giving birth to not one but two babies at one time that man wouldn't have missed his kids first birthday that man wouldn't have not seen his kids in over a year in person that man wouldn't have fed me bullshit and lies and excuses on why he couldn't be there or why he can't show up. He would have made a way. And it's like, I just say all of this to say, like, you really don't know what you got until it's gone. And you really don't know the value of things until it's gone. And I'm not even trying to bash my baby father. And like, yeah, this is a lot better. But, you know, after it's all said and done, that shit wasn't that. Bash my baby father or anything like that or speak down on him. But it's like, if I had known better at the time and I wasn't so young, dumb, and full of cum, I wouldn't have did that, you know? I think I have just lost the one person that I prayed for. Like, all because mm, mm, mm. of my self-sabotaging tendencies. Because mm, mm, mm. God forbid, God forbid, I actually accept mm. good things that are happening to me. Because I'm so used to it being a mess. I'm so used to it being toxic and here I am in the face of a non-toxic mm, situation mm, in the face of a god mm, dear man mm, in the face mm, of a, a, a family mm. so y'all want to hear how I fumbled a good man yes so two years ago I was dating before I had my second child. I was got it. Was dating. Um, I was dating two guys. It it wasn't even dating. Well, yeah, you you could say that. So I just couldn't make time for the the first guy, and he was a good man. He was he's in the medical field, no kids, single. He was a good man, but our work schedules was so messed up. But then I met my baby daddy and we worked together. He was my work husband. He started off as my work husband. Then I kind of strayed away from the first guy and started really focusing on my baby daddy thinking <laughs> I found my Prince Charming. That was one goofball mistake. Fast forward so now he's getting married and he's a good man he's, he's a good man great provider great like and then here's me being a single mother of two hurting for certain <laughs> hurting for mother certain being this independent ooh you know, I'm a survivor. 
You you know what? Just put a red nose on me and call me Ronald McDonald. Goofball of the mother century. All because I thought I found my husband and my second baby daddy. <laughs> Goofy, goof mother, e. goof ball. <laughs> Who's a goofy? You's a goofy. <laughs> I am friend to him. I am friend to him. When when I saw that whole big proposal, I unfriended him and took him off my page. Cause who's a mad? <laughs> mad bitch alert! Mad bitch alert! <laughs> Females fumble good men, and I fumbled him. You know how girls love to say, oh, as soon as he stops messing with me, his life just declines. You know, I made his life so much better. I fear that that is not the case for me at all. I just checked his Instagram. He's never looked better. I'm sick. I literally am sick. I don't know. It's like he got richer. He got thinner. He got hotter. And I know I shouldn't be checking, but I'm just a girl, okay? And I wanted to see what was going on. I honestly wanted to check it and be like, yeah. Your life probably is bad now. Karma, karma. And did I get karma? Cause I swear, I don't want to swear. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's never looked so good in my, in his entire life, and in my entire life. <sighs> Honestly, I'm really happy for him because that motivates me even more to get better and to become a better version of myself every single day. Because when I saw that, I. <laughs> I'm eating kale because of that. I'm eating kale. I'm hitting the gym right after this. I don't care. I'm sick. I'm literally sick. I can't. There. The issue boils down to a matter of attraction because we are seeing so many different types of people on social media. Because we can post a picture of ourselves and get hundreds or thousands of likes, it really, really boosts our ego to unhealthy levels. And we think that people are beneath us. And the people who might really be good for us, who can be a good match, we overlook those people because we always think that there's something better. <sighs> the court notified me that my final decree of divorce has been approved by the judge. I know that it sucks being alone. I come home and I'm alone. I go everywhere alone. I don't hardly talk to him anymore. I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. <laughs> So I'm sure people are wondering, well, you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are you crying? But I don't want a divorce. I know that I will get through this and move forward. But I don't want a divorce. I still am very much in love with my husband. I don't hardly talk to him anymore. <laughs> I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. So I'm sure people are wondering, well, you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are you crying? Just because you make a decision that you think is going to end up making things better doesn't mean that you have to give up the fact that you love that person or that you did it because you were trying or whatever. I've never met anybody like him, and I've never loved anybody like him either. And it'll end up, he's out there in this big world somewhere, and I'm out there in this big world somewhere, and maybe he'll think about me one day, and maybe I'll just finally stop thinking about him. I broke up with him. It was too much. He was too great. He was too great. We did it for three months. He was not a pushover. He had friends. He was cool. He was he was perfect. And he took me places and spent money on me. And he had a car and he had a bank account and he had health insurance. And he told me, if you want to be together, that's awesome. That's what I want. But if you don't, that's also okay. Um, whatever you want. And I broke up with him. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. Because I was comfortable. I broke up with him. He was too great. Okay, serious question for all of my girlies out there 
So I broke up with my ex in November of last year. And I was so excited to go on dates. I was like, I cannot wait to find my person. I'm so excited. I start going on dates and no one told me this shit was hot garbage. No one told me that the apps are the Hunger Games. No one told me that I wasn't going to feel anything. And then when I finally find a guy that I actually connect with, he doesn't like me back. So at this point, I'm starting to wonder, did I f*** up by breaking up with my ex? I mean, he was great. I don't, I, we just broke up because I wasn't sure I wanted to get married to him. But this shit out here is way worse. Like, way, way worse. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much energy I put into it, I just, I never see any success. I, I think it's, it's pretty solid to say that he's seeing someone else weeks after we decided to get divorced. Like, I understand that I f up. I get that. And now I'm reaping the consequences of that. Got it. Yeah. I can't, I can't go back in time. I really wish I could. So recently my husband left his job and we took that as an opportunity for me to pursue my dream job, which is like creating videos on the internet, which is like so like cliche because like that's literally, whoa, so many people stream and whatever, but whatever, like that part doesn't really matter. And so what we're doing right now is like, we're living off of savings. We have a little bit of passive income. That's like really helpful. Um, and I thought that I'd be happy or at least happier doing what I've always wanted to do full time. And I'm not, my brain is still sad. And like, it breaks my heart because like, well, if I'm not happy doing the thing that I thought was going to be so fulfilling in my life, like, what can I do to be happy? You know? I confirmed a suspicion that I had with my husband, soon to be ex-husband. We're in the middle of getting divorced right now. And we're not even officially divorced yet. And he's already sleeping with other people. He might have another kid that's not with me one day. We have two kids already. And that makes me want to vomit. That really brings a lot of disgust feelings within me. Thinking about him having another kid that's not with me. And my daughter's having a sibling that's not from me. It, make, it, it brings a lot of disgust feelings. And it makes me sad, too. But obviously, I have absolutely no control over what he does and i need to let that go i have nobody in my life except for tiktok to talk to so here we are um and so it was my surprise when today in the car my daughters were like hey are we going to data's friend's house i was like oh no who's data's friend and um i asked for their name and they were like we don't know her name but she has two cats. She's nice. And I was like, oh, she has two cats? She was like, yeah, we went to her house. She has two cats. Um, he did not run this by me. Like, f other people. Whatever. Not even divorced yet. Not even gonna work at your, on yourself at all. Just gonna jump into another relationship. And one last thing, since we're ranting about my soon-to-be ex-husband, right? The reason why I know for a fact that he's at least seeing another woman is because he bought new shampoo. He didn't just buy shampoo. He bought shampoo, conditioner, and I think a body wash. Honestly, I didn't look at them that closely. Um, very aesthetically pleasing packaging. The shampoo is not a regular shampoo. It's an apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo he didn't just walk into a store and said oh that's the one for me a woman told him to buy that um all of that combined i i think it's it's pretty solid to say that he's seeing someone else weeks after we decided to get divorced i just want to say something if you're a parent and you have a partner at home who loves you and your kids and helps take care of you in any way, mentally,
physically, emotionally, financially, physically, however it may be. They contribute to you and your family and your kids. Just thank them. Just say thank you. Remind them how grateful you are. Remind them how amazing they are. Because I would give anything to have someone at home to love me and support me.